but I know that it's one of those that the more you dig in, the more you learn. So the more we can learn to, to better utilize it, we'll, we will use it to its full potential because I'm sure none of us are probably doing that. So the more you can teach us, the better. Awesome. Well, I'm super excited to be here with you guys. My name is Eric Johnson. I'm the creator of Teams Eat. I, I also mentioned that Jay Lopes, the director of customer experience, is with us too. Um, let me go ahead and mute everybody. I may have to pop out and mute everybody a few times as they pop in, which is no big deal. But I wanted you to know if you like feel the spirit move you and you want to say something or ask a question in the middle, you can just unmute and go for it. Um, though we will do a Q&A at the end. I'm excited to be here. Julie, it's, a, it's an honor for me to be here on your team. Um, as a brand new Beachbody coach, I saw you present at Summit in Las Vegas. It was awesome. And um, I used to be a Beachbody coach like you guys. I still would be if I was allowed to do Teamsy and Beachbody at the same time, but you know how compliance is. But I'm happy to be here serving you guys and helping you build your business. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take you guys first through some training on the system, the philosophy that underpins Teamsy. Okay, so you really understand it's more than just an app or a software. It's actually an approach, a philosophical approach to doing this business. And I know a lot of you guys already feel that in your hearts. That's why you're here and you're excited about Teamsy. Then I'm going to take you into Teamsy. I'll show you how to set it up. For those of you who haven't done it yet, it's really easy to do. I'll show you how to attack a power hour, how your power hour can really be more like 30 minutes. I'll show you how to do that, where we're going to connect with people. We're going to create conversations. We're going to take those conversations and go deeper and turn them into invites. I'll show you how to follow up on invites like a pro so you can convert people to your team. We'll do all of that and then we'll have an open Q&A for you. Sound good? All right. Now I'm going to throw so much content at you guys. It's going to be like sipping water from a fire hose. So make sure you have your pens and pads ready. And don't worry if you miss pieces of it. Julie's recording and so am I. Either way, you're going to get to look at this again if you miss pieces as we're going through it. So let me go ahead and jump out to my keynote. Wait, before I do that, let me make sure. Am I on the right screen? No. Okay. All right. So you guys should, do you guys see my keynote presentation now? Okay. Awesome. So this is what I want to talk to you about first, how to leverage relationship marketing to become a power hour boss. Just a little bit about myself. Um, before I was a Beachbody coach, my grown up career has been as a business consultant, helping people build their business. Okay. Uh, specifically, I specialize with real estate mortgage folks, though I've helped just about every kind of small business owner you can imagine. And so um, before I became a coach, I was really familiar with the tools that you needed really to help you leverage your time and be efficient as you built the business. Then I went to look for the tools that coaches were using and I really didn't find anything. I mean, there was a couple of things out there, but they represented a different philosophy. And I'm going to explain that as we go through it today, but I didn't see anybody using a real relationship based philosophy or have a tool for that. That's why we built Teamsy. So that's just a little backdrop on that. Let's jump right into this. What is relationship marketing? And what's funny is, you know, I've been teaching about relationship marketing for 15 years. Now it's becoming a buzzword and people misuse this all the time. It's more than just relationships. Okay, relationship marketing is a lead generation system. It's a lead generation system. That's a system that initiates consumer interest or inquiry into the products or services of a business. Relationships are the core of this business, but you need to understand this is a system that generates business for you in a predictable way. Does that make sense? All right, and before we even get deep into this call, I want you guys to really have a mindset shift right at the beginning, and that's this. Your business is not marketing home fitness programs and nutritional supplements. That's not your business. Okay. And I've heard people describe it that way, which is great. It's a great description of the products you represent, but you need to understand that you are in the lead generation business. You are in the lead generation business. Your business is to generate leads. You could be very busy in your, in your day with your business. You could be making sales, but if you're not doing the work that generates new leads for your business, you're not working on your business today. Make sense. Okay. So relationship marketing is a system we follow. It's a system we follow. It allows us to serve and bring value first. Okay. It's an important principle because we're all about helping people first, you know, without expecting things in return. Also, when we invest systematically in relationships, people are more likely to want to do business with us and they're more likely to recommend our business to other people. Also, we're able to create predictable and reliable results for our business. Now, one of the things you guys will see when I show you set up in a couple of minutes is that Teamsy will take your income goal and it'll tell you about how much activity you need to do to reach that. 
That's because we have been teaching this system over so many businesses for so many years, we know that it's quantifiable. We can actually predict about what results you'll get based on the amount of activity you do. Make sense? Okay, and we always know what to do next because it's a system. So if you guys are like me, when I was a new coach and it was like, invite, 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 and I was like, okay, who, how, what, what do I do? Now you'll have a system to follow. You won't have to second guess yourself. You just get to work every day. All right. So here's another important principle I want to give you guys. Developing and deepening relationships is your paramount duty as a business owner. Developing and deepening relationships is your paramount duty as a business owner. So you can see how we're setting this up. Our, our business is lead generation. We generate leads so that we can develop and deepen relationships. That's the center of our business. Meeting new people, constantly working to meet new people so that we can create and deepen new relationships. Pretty cool, right? I know, it's so much fun. And then what we do with relationships over time, this is our existing relationships and the people we're, we're meeting, is we turn them into advocates over time by investing time in them and providing them outstanding service. So it's almost like you picture, and as you guys get to use Teamsy, you'll see that Teamsy is constantly cycling through your list. It's like all the relationships in your life are brought before you, and every time they come before you, you have an opportunity to connect, to deepen that relationship. As those relationships deepen, people become advocates, people join your team, people become customers. Make sense? All right. Let's keep, let's keep going. I could stop on any one of these slides for an hour, honestly. I try not to. Occasionally, I, I will warn you, I will occasionally go off on a passion tangent but that's what makes it fun, right? Here's your next important principle. Relationship marketing depends on trust. Relationship marketing depends on trust. So the way I describe this is like this. If you're a jerk, this ain't gonna work. Does that make sense? Because, and, and let's be honest, in our industry, even in this network, are there jerks? There are. And, and network marketing has been given a really bad reputation by a lot of people who have not been building this relationally. But you need to know that it depends on trust. The, our approach, the relationship marketing approach, the Teamsy approach depends on trust, which is a good thing because you guys are gonna feel really good about doing this way, doing um, business this way, because trust makes the work fun. Trust makes the work fun. You don't have to convince people, you get right to helping them. And I'm gonna show you guys how to build trust so that you can do this. Also, it takes that icky salesperson feeling away from the process. How many of you guys are, you know, paranoid of being the icky salesperson? When you're working to build trust with people, that's not going to ever happen, which is so cool. And then my favorite part is you get to go for yes. You get to go for yes. And I, listen, I'm not here to real, really criticize the traditional um, approach of going for no, but I will just tell you it's not for me because the whole idea of, well, I'll just, I'll just give you guys a couple things. When people say to me, well, Eric, I've gone through my warm market, now what? I'm like, what do you mean you went through your warm market? How do you go through a warm market? How do you leave behind relationships? Just so you know, with Teamsy, you're gonna go through your warm market three, four, five times a year. Because every time you go through it, you warm it up more. Does that make sense? And the whole idea of going for no and leaving bodies behind you like, like a battlefield, moving forward, that's crazy. I don't want to leave behind my relationships. I'm going to invest in people. I'm going to invest in building trust and deepening relationships. And then I get to go for a yes. I'm not really looking at no's. Does that make sense? And I'll explain more as we go. But that's one of the cool things about relationship marketing and building trust is you get to go for a yes. So how do you actually build trust? There's a lot of ways to do this. I'm going to give you guys the basics today. But I, I, I do believe what I'm giving you right now, you could apply today in your business. There's four essential ingredients to building trust four essential ingredients to building trust. The first is chemistry. Chemistry. I'm going to go through them really quickly, guys, and then I'll, I'll break them down for you. The second is character. Character. The third is competence. Competence. And the fourth is consistency. Consistency. Chemistry, character, competence, consistency. All right, let's break them down for you. Chemistry, this is the easiest one probably for you guys. This is where you have common ground with someone. What is it about you they can relate to? Chemistry is where you have common ground with someone. What is it about you they can relate to? Sorry, still morning, California. Gotta have my coffee. All right, so you guys have already got your attraction marketing campaigns going. You've got your Facebook pages. You're bringing people into your niche that are like you. You've already got chemistry. But then they're gonna bring everyone they know to you who might not 
have those things in common. So it's just a matter of just basically doing what God gave you, using your two ears and one mouth, right? Ask a question and listen. Find out what it is about where you have your common ground because you guys have things in common with every person on the planet. But the first piece is just finding that connection. Second is character. Character. Character is when you demonstrate how much you care and that you are relatable. Character is when you demonstrate how much you care and that you are relatable. Guys, this is really important. I want you to please notice something about this definition. It's not something you have, it's something you do. Does that make sense? All the important things are th not things you have, they're things you do, like love, success, character. And I'm gonna show you one more in a second. These are things that you do, you have to do every day, right? And so if you're like me and sometimes you get a little, uh, you know, you get a little twisted if somebody uh, insults your integrity, questions your, you know, questions your character, you just have to under take a step back and go, okay, am I demonstrating to this person how much I care? Why should I assume they know my character? And as a coach, as a business owner, as a friend, because you can't separate them just so you know, right? Everything we do, we need to be de demonstrating character. Everything we say, we need to be demonstrating how much we care to people. Everything that we post on social media, we need to be demonstrating our care for the audience. We need to show the audience that we care about them. This is for them, not for us type thing. Okay, and then you're relatable. All right, so character is huge, right? Character is huge. The third one is competence. Competence. Competence is when you demonstrate you are good at what you do and you're a business person. Competence is when you demonstrate you are good at what you do and you are a business person. I know it sounds kind of redundant, and that's because for Beachbody coaches, there's really two pieces to this. I need to know that you can help me first with my fitness, health and fitness goals. Are you good at that? Do you know what you're doing with that? And are you a business person? Meaning, can I trust you to mentor me in this business? I need to know this. If I'm watching you from afar on social media, I need to see from your social media that you're competent. I need you to be demonstrating that to me constantly. Now, here's the thing. I want you guys to know. How many of you guys have ever heard the, the term fake it till you make it? Okay, good. I'm glad you guys have heard that. Now, please don't do it. You don't need to fake anything. We don't want to be fake. We want to be real, right? This is about trust. If you're new, if you're brand new on your physical journey, if you're brand new in your business, you need to lean and demonstrate the competence of your team. What an awesome team you guys are on. Everything you need is in this team. Don't fake it. Just tell people, hey, I'm new too. You're going to join the best team in the network. Come get on with us. We have everything you need. Make sense? Don't fake it. Competence is something that you demonstrate. You will gain it yourself as, you, as time goes on. But the amazing thing is, is that you can plug into the competence of your team. Make sense? Now, before I get into the fourth one, I just want to recap these with the principle that underlies all of this. And that's this. If somebody's thinking about doing business with you, they really only care about three things, okay? They only care about three things. Can I trust you? Do you care about me? Are you good at what you do? Can I trust you? Do you care about me? And are you good at what you do? Some of you guys have heard this prince before and you're looking back at these points going, oh yeah, that's what he's talking about. This is huge. And I want you guys to get this principle for this reason. When you come up against objections in your business, all objections stem from these questions. Okay, at a deep level, subconscious level. So if somebody says, well, I just don't know about the amount of vitamin D in Shakeology, it's, you, you know, your response isn't, you don't trust me? <laughs> no, but in the back of your mind, you think to yourself, okay, I need to overcome this objection for this person like a pro, but I also understand that this relationship, I need to continue to build trust in this relationship. Right, for you, it's just a matter of, um, of just having that discernment. Like, okay, this person has objections. These questions aren't answered for this person. I need to continue to build this relationship, especially if I want them to continue to be a customer or to join my team and not quit. Make sense? Okay. Let's jump to the fourth one because I told, promised you I'd go through these fast and furiously. I want to get to Teensy. The fourth one is consistency. Consistency. Remember, we're going through the four essential ingredients to building trust. I could talk to you for a day about consistency in lots of ways, right? Consistency is probably the most important thing in our life because we can't be successful in anything without it, except for failing. Actually, failure is actually a, a sum of consistent actions too, isn't it? But the thing is, is that talking about trust, you guys need to understand this important principle, and that's this. People respect consistency and they desire it for themselves. 
People respect consistency and they desire it for themselves. I borrowed this um, directly from one of my favorite personal development books. I'm going to recommend it to you guys. It's called Influence, the Psychology of Persuasion. Here, I'll put it on the screen for you by Bob Kildini. So great. You guys, I highly recommend this. There's six different principles in here. Consistency is only one of them. Such a great book. It's on how to influence people in a good way. Okay, which coach, hello, that's what you do, right? Influence people. He talks about this principle because people not only respect it, but they desire it for themselves, which is awesome. When you guys are trying to build trust, the number one thing people look to is are you consistent with what you're saying? Are you consistent, right? How many of you guys are parents? How important is being consistent with your kids believing you and trusting you and fall in your follow through? Absolutely, right? It's huge. Now, the cool thing about this is the more consistent you are, the more people will trust you, but there's a bonus. The bonus is they desire it. They're attracted to it. So being consistent not only builds trust, but it actually becomes a marketing tool for you. People are attracted to you. They want to be near it. Does that make sense? Same thing happens in your, in your challenge groups. When you're being consistent and leading the group, people do better because they want to be like that. They want to be close to it. It's such a powerful, amazing thing. And I just wish it was easier to do, right? <laughs> I just wish it was easier to do, but it is something that we can do. So this is really important, guys, consistency. I want to talk to you a little bit about this. So are you consistent? Are you consistent? Let's just talk about this real quick. Are you a product of the product? I know most of you are like, I can't believe the teams you guys asking me this, but this is important. People need to see that you're living the lifestyle that you're selling. Are you a product of the product? Are you doing your workout? Are you drinking your shake? Are you committed to health and living? Are you actually doing your personal development? Now, I, I won't go off too much on the personal development thing, but I, you, know, you don't have to raise your hand. You can do it internally. You can, or you can think about a friend like this, but how many of you know you should be doing personal development, but, but aren't really? It's so huge. It's so huge. I'll just say this about it. Zig Ziglar used to say that um, being broke was a state of account, but being poor was a state of mind. Have you guys heard that before? If you don't know who Zig Ziglar is, you got to look him up. He's amazing. Changed my life at age 11. Read all his books as a kid. That's probably why I'm sitting here talking to you guys today. Here's the thing, guys. If you look around right now, I'm here in my shoppers, my world side cottage. Wherever you are, look around your life. Is everything exactly as you want it? Is everything exactly as you want it? Because everything that's around you is, a, is because of your current state of mind. And if you want to change your life, you have to work on what's between your ears first. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. You've heard it from everyone else. There's a reason we all say the same thing. Got to do your personal development. All right. So this is us struggling, but moving forward. Not perfect, but determined, right? Not perfect, but determined. But I want to give you your real checkup from the neck up, as Zig would say. Are you as consistent in your relationships? Because I think you guys are probably doing your workouts and drinking your shakes, right? I know you're posting on social media. I see your social media is awesome. But are you as consistent in your relationships? And what I mean is, are you as consistent about staying in touch with people as you are about doing your workouts, drinking your shake every day, uh, posting on social media? And it's okay if right now the answer is no, because there's a lot of reasons why you might not be. I'm going to show you in a second how with Teamsy, you can be so consistent, so effortlessly. People are going to be absolutely amazed all the time at how good, how consistent you are. But here's an important principle. People won't believe you until they see you. People won't believe you until they see you. This is like the, you know, I'll believe it when I see it type thing. The truth is, is they see you on social media. They think it looks amazing. You're out there with your friends, having a great time, building a business together, supporting your family. Like it's exciting, right? The hashtag mom boss life is awesome. I love the, the pictures of you guys with your feet in the sand and the laptop on your knees. And it's like, this is my um, corporate meeting today. I mean, I love it, right? The lifestyle of a coach is unbelievably awesome. But the truth is, is there are people watching you that don't believe you mean them. You're not including them because they've never heard from you. Like you haven't talked to them since high school. So if you really want to invite everybody and have people really believe that you're inviting them to, to take part, we need to be in contact with them. We need to actually connect with them, right? Which brings me to my next point, which is that relationship building is a contact sport. Relationship building is a contact sport. I don't mean hit them fast and hit them hard. I mean, 
you need to be in regular contact with people if you want to build a relationship with them. But I know your time is scarce, which is why you need a system to really help you leverage that time, okay? Here's your principle that I want to give you, and I'm just about done with this little bit of training, then we're going to jump into the app. But investing time and connecting with people is the only way to deepen relationships. Investing time and connecting with people is the only way to deepen relationships. I just want to look at you guys for a quick second and just give you an example of this. How many of you guys have ever received uh, a beautiful card from somebody and in that card was just a really nice handwritten note, like a nice sentimental note that you got from somebody, right? Hopefully you guys have all received something like that. And when you get a card like that, it makes you feel great, right? And then as soon as you're done reading it, what do you guys do? Do you, do you just, does it go right in the trash can? Does it get recycled? Now it's hard to throw those away, isn't it? You guys have a special place where you put the notes? Like, <laughs> Jay's got her collection. I love it. Yeah, I mean, my, my wife and I have these little boxes that slide under our bed. And it's like the whole bottom of the bed are notes. And you know that I, wanna, I want to uh, recycle them all the time, but we just can't bring ourselves to do it. It's so amazing how valuable those are to people. Um, when, you know, it's not an uncommon occurrence that when people pass away, they find notes that had been written and saved and letters that have been saved for years and years and years. The reason why those are so valuable. Now, let me just give you another example though, before I jump into that, how many of you guys have received in the last year, let's say you got a postcard from um, your dentist saying happy birthday or a little card from the local real estate agent saying, Hey, you know, you're, you have a beautiful home. Would you like to know what it's worth? Like you get those cards. Do those go in the special place? Of course they don't, right? Because they don't have any meaning to them. What makes those other cards so meaningful is the fact that somebody took their most precious, the most precious thing they have, their time, and they invested it in you one-on-one. -on -one. Because somebody cannot write you a heartfelt message, you know, handwrite it, and be playing with Facebook on their phone at the same time. It's impossible. And how often do we actually give anything undivided attention in our society these days. In fact, writing a card may be one of the very few ways we still give undivided attention. Isn't that amazing? That's why people will save cards forever. Am I telling you you should be handwriting note cards to people in your business? Yeah, absolutely I am. In fact, Teamsy has that as one of the connect types. Not all the time. I'm gonna show you how you can be super efficient sending people messages, one-on-one -on -one messages. It's a little bit less commitment of time, but it still has an impact, okay? But definitely handwritten note cards should be part of your business, especially when you're congratulating people and telling them that you um, are proud of them and things like that, things that they'll save. So this is the principle, guys. The way to deepen a, a relationship is to invest time and connect with people. That's the principle. So how do you do it? How can you actually do it so that you can invest time and connect with all the people on your list? That is the question, right? Hold on, we've seen this one. You need a system. That's how, you need a system. You need a way to stay in contact with all your relationships. You need to know when to contact them because a lot of times people spend a lot of time planning and a little time doing, but this way you just need to know when you're gonna contact them. You should know what you're gonna say without spending all day trying to figure it out. You should make sure that nobody ever falls through the cracks, okay? And I'm just going to bring up a painful example. I know you guys have all experienced, and that's when you're talking to someone and they're interested and they're really interested and they want to join the group and they're really, it looks like they're going to. And then they say, you know, I don't think I'm ready. And you're like, okay, no big deal. Um, can they connect with me down the road. They're like, great. Two months pass and you notice them on Facebook that they are now a beach body coach on someone else's team. You guys ever, that ever happened? Absolutely. It's happened to all of us. It's because they fell through the cracks. That's an example where you planted the seed. You poured water on the seed. You put sunshine on the seed. But when it was ready for harvest, you just weren't present. Someone else was. So you need a system to make sure that people don't fall through those cracks. Okay? So wait, those action steps are for after our call. Okay, hold on. Don't get too excited. Let me show you the system. We'll jump right over to Teamsy. Uh, here we go. Okay, so here's Teamsy. All right, here's my Teamsy dashboard. What we're gonna do, something exciting is happening in my neighborhood. All the dogs in the neighborhood are howling. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I think it's pretty cool, actually. It means that we must be doing, we must have some sort of primal energy happening with our call today. 
it's like reminds me of um, 101 Dalmatians when all the dogs talk to each other and send the messages. Okay, here's Teamsy. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up. Before I even get started, I want you guys to know, all of you guys on this call, some of you I know are already using Teamsy, you're big fans. Some of you aren't. Go to teamsy.com and get a free trial. It's 30 days free, no credit card, nothing like that. There's no bait and switch, nothing like that. If you don't like it, don't use it, but you get it. You get to use it for 30 days for free. So I, I definitely recommend that you all go on there, get your teams on there and get a free trial. Try it out for free. When you start the free trial, setup is really easy and you're going to be in a setup wizard. I'm going to launch it here from settings so you can see it. It'll automatically launch the first time you log in. The setup wizard is designed to make setup easy. If you guys come from another industry where you've used a traditional CRM like Salesforce or Microsoft Dynamics, you know it's like, it's like brutal, absolutely painful to set up. We've made it super easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an income goal, okay? Teams will then give you a recommendation of what to do to achieve it. We're gonna create a powerful why so that we can overcome our natural impulse to quit. We're gonna import our contacts and get our list organized, super organized so that we're ready to rock, okay? So let me just go through these really quick with you. The first step is to set an income goal. Now look, this isn't an income promise, it's just a ballpark. How much money, what's the income level you wanna be at 12 months from now, okay? I put in 150,000, put in whatever number you want. I do encourage you to stretch a little bit because with a tool like Teams, your time will be incredibly leveraged and you'll be able to do more, okay? You'll be able to do more in a shorter time. If you guys already have a super successful business, I know this applies to a couple of you guys on the, on the call, and you're like, dude, that would be a back step for me, great. What I want you to do is set your goal based on how much, how much business will you personally create over the next 12 months? So the easiest way to look at that is like, what are your elite point activities? Okay, and so set it on that. Like I'm gonna personally create a new this much. Maybe it's, you know, so that, so that you have a decent goal. Okay, because you guys don't need to be doing six, 600 connects a day to get to some huge goal. Your network is doing some of that work for you. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I've got 150,000 and I'm just gonna show you guys seriously this is gonna give me about 30 minutes a day of activity. It's gonna blow your mind. Now, it might take you longer than 30 minutes at the beginning, but after about a week, you'll be able to do it like me in about 30 minutes. Okay. So now Teamsy has taken that number and it said, okay, we think that you need to connect with about, see this number right here, 4,348 people over the next 12 months to get to that number. 4,348 people. Does that seem like a lot? Yeah, it's kind of a lot. I mean, I grew up in a town in New Hampshire with less people than that. But here's what I want you guys to know. Well, luckily, we didn't have Facebook then, so it could have had the whole country to look at, right? But here's the thing. If you need to eat an elephant, how do you do it? Have you guys heard this one? One bite at a time, right? Oh, you guys are good. I know you guys do your personal development. Good job, Julie. <laughs> Speed of the leader, right? All right, so one bite at a time, great. So the next page breaks it down for us, and it takes it into three groups. The three groups, basically, that for a Beachbody coach, the entire world breaks into. Prospects, customers, and coaches, right? Prospects, customers, and coaches. Then it takes it and it breaks it down monthly, weekly, and daily. So you can see my huge number, 4,348, now breaks into, I need to connect with nine prospects a day, six customers, four coaches on my team, right? And then I've got an, a minimum goal of inviting three people and adding three people to my list every day. It's a daily task list, okay? Now, you guys can go in, this is a recommendation, you can go in and you can change these numbers to whatever you want, okay? If you're brand new and you don't even have four coaches, you can make this zero for now, okay? But just understand that connecting with, with your personally sponsored coaches is a huge part of building your team and you're gonna wanna incorporate that as you grow your team, okay? All right, and you can also up these numbers, whatever you want. Whatever you set in these boxes, guys, when you click continue, your dashboard will be configured to your goals, which is so cool. Right, and you can change these at any time too if it's too little or too less. Wait, I said too little or too less. See, I subconsciously want you to go big, <laughs> but you get the idea. All right, next page. So now we've set that up. Now we're gonna set up our why. Now we're gonna set up our why. And this is so huge, you guys. Do you guys know what I mean when I say your why? Have you guys, I know based on the fact that you know how to eat an elephant, you probably know how to do your why. But let me just talk to you guys about this because this is big and it's something that you're gonna need to communicate to your teams as you bring them into this too. You need to understand that 50% of Beachbody coaches quit within 12 months. Did you guys know that? 
but it makes sense if you look back on your experience, right? And that's why we're constantly building. The thing is, is that that number doesn't need to be so high. In fact, one of the mission, one of the, our, the parts of our mission statement of why we created Teensy was we were like, if we can impact that number 10%, we would make a huge difference in our country, in our world, in North America, right? And then even as we go internationally, just if we can impact that a little bit. But we need to think about this, guys, 50%. And that is, that's actually really good retention if you think about it, because let's be honest, all of us are quitters. We've all quit so many things and we're wired to give up. The only time that we are successful and we persist through what we call in the coaching business quitting points is when we have a reason to. When we have a reason to. The reason has to be more important than the challenges. Will there be challenges? Yeah. Is the business hard sometimes? Is it discouraging? Yeah. Forget that. Do things happen in your personal life that set you sideways? Absolutely. Here's the thing I'll tell you. I guarantee those things will happen. So how do we get to be successful? We need to be prepared. We need to know why we're in this. We need to have a reason to persist when things are difficult. Does that make sense? And finding your why, and I know you guys have heard this. You're like, yeah, I know the why is how we do it. But how do you get your why? How do you get to it? How many of you are like, no, I need a good why, but I'm not really sure how to get there. So what we did was, you know, we've been to, we've been to the seminars, we've read the books. We created a really simple kind of journaling exercise in the setup wizard to help you get at least the first draft of your why. As you do it more and more, you guys, you're going to get better at this. So I'm going to take you through it really quick. Sorry, this is one of my passion tangents. I have to go off on this because here's the thing. I can sign you all up for Teamsy all day long, but I want you to be successful. I don't want you to quit. That makes sense? All right. So let's jump in here. I'll show you. All right. And there's a little, that's a little video for me. You got it live. All right. So these are simple questions that you answer to yourself just to get your mind thinking. And I'm going to actually take you through my journey on this. So you have an idea of my example, right? Obviously your journey will be different. So why did you become a coach? Personally, you guys are going to laugh at this. I bought P90X at Costco. I know some of you are like, they sell it at Costco. They did. They had a pallet of them. And I was like, oh, I saw this on TV. I'm going to buy it. I bought it at Costco. I did what most people do. I let it gather dust in my garage. Eventually I opened it and I did a few workouts and I couldn't, I couldn't walk. And so I didn't do it again for a while, but eventually I did it. I did P90X and I, I did it and I posted, I didn't know about the team beach body. Just so you know, I didn't know. I did it. Um, I posted on Facebook every day for 90 days that I was doing it. And I lost 30 pounds in 90 days. I'm sorry, 60 pounds. I lost 60 pounds in 90 days, which made me look a little bit different. And everyone was asking me about it. That's why I became a coach. Cause I found out there was an opportunity. Everyone was already asking me about it. And my wife was like, you could get paid for all those people. And so I signed up deep. Can you see the deep, deep heartfelt passion behind this? I was like, dude, I can make a 10 bucks. Great whatever. So what did you hope to accomplish? I'm on my second question. What do I hope to accomplish? I remember talking to my friend who was my sponsor and I said, could I make 500 bucks a month? Do you think extra money? He goes, yeah, I think you could do that easy, Eric. I said, great. That's what I'd like to accomplish. 500 bucks a month, extra money. And remember that, like I wrote this down on the little sheet that Beachbody gives your sponsor to send you, right? Why is that important to you? Why is that important to you? Hmm. Why would making 500 bucks a month be important to me? So I have to tell you guys where I was at the situation. I told you that I was a, a business coach for real estate agents. Most of you guys know, some of you guys were greatly impacted by the, the great recession. The real estate industry went into the toilet. I mean, it was overnight and the income, see, I relied on real estate agent income in order to pay me 85% of that income disappeared in one week. It was scary to say the least. Now, by the grace of God, my family, we survived the recession, but it was hard. I mean, you know, we did not save any money for eight years, not a dime. Our savings account never went up. I mean, it did go up a little bit, but then we had to use, whenever we got our tax return, right? It went up a little bit, and then we had to use that money to survive. It was brutal. And I know a lot of you guys can relate to it. We had managed to hold steady, but it was really scary. And losing my job in 30 days, everything would fall apart. And I know you guys have been there, right? It's like, if I didn't have income for 30 days, we would, everything would be gone. It's crazy to think that way. 500 bucks a month to me at that moment was really exciting because I was like, wow, I could put that in savings every month. 
that could be a game changer for me. So that was why that was important to me. So what would achieving this mean for you and your family? And guys, when I read that one, I thought, well, if I saved money long enough, we could buy a new house, which would be awesome. We had lots of kids and we're, we're kind of cramped. It would be great to be able to buy a new home. And I thought that would be neat. Again, it's getting a little deeper, but still not that deep. Then I got to this next question. Why is that meaningful? How does this make you feel? And I don't know if some of you guys are like me, where sometimes you get kind of uncomfortable with the personal development stuff. You're like, this is a little bit too abstract and hippy dippy weirdo for me. I get irritated with this question because I'm like, why am I going through this process again? What do you mean? How does this make you feel? And I had to really think about it for a minute. And I realized, guys, that the house wasn't important. It wasn't meaningful. Buying a new house, that wasn't meaningful. It was symbolic. It was symbolic. Deep down, what I didn't want to admit was that my life, my family relationship, it wasn't healthy. I was worried about money. I was worried about losing my work. I, I was never seeing my kids because I was constantly working. I would get up in the morning to leave for work and I would see them for 20 minutes. I'd get home, they'd already begin going to bed. I basically kissed them goodnight, said a prayer with them, and that was my relationship with my kids. My kindergartner was calling me by his kindergarten teacher's name, and it was brutal. It was brutal. So for me, the new home was a symbol. What I needed was a new life. I needed a better relationship with my family. I needed to remove the worry that I was going to lose my job. I needed to change everything. And I realized by going through this process, guys, literally 15 minutes of my life, that this opportunity was a way to do that. Does that make sense? And knowing what it took to build a business, that it just takes daily focus for a little while, every day, that I could do that, that I'd helped other people do it. I realized this could change everything for me. Does that make sense? That's what I need you guys to get to. Now, here's the last box you write your statement. It's kind of like an affirmation. This is my why statement, and you'll see it on your account as like the sample text. This was the why I wrote just 18 months ago, if you can believe that. To create a life where I never have to worry about money again. I enjoy quality time with my family, and I'm present for my children on a daily basis. I'm healthy and full of energy. Guys, I wrote that down, and I just have to tell you, like, just setting that intention changed everything for me. And at that time, um, Teensy was a, where is that thing? Here it is. Teensy was in a notebook with Chicken Scratch. This is my billion dollar notebook, by the way. There's Teensy and other ideas in here. Teensy was a notebook. I was working full time trying to figure out how to do my Beachbody business on the side. And I came out into my backyard and started building what is now known as the office, right? Because I'd seen it on Pinterest, the, the shed offices. My wife's like, what are you doing? I go, I'm building an office. Why are you building an office? So I have a place to build my business when I leave my job. What do you mean leave your job, right? You guys can imagine. You've, some of you have had that conversation. But I have to let you know. For me personally, three months, took three months after writing this down that I left my job full time and devoted myself to my business. Setting that intention means everything. And there are days where you don't feel like doing it, even though it's not a lot. Just like your 30-minute workout, aren't there days you don't feel like doing that? You need to have a why. So when you turn on Teamsy, every day your why will be on your dashboard. You can read it to yourself and be like, okay, get over yourself, Eric. Do your 30 minutes of connects with people, make some people's day, and build your business. Your, everything, everything depends on it. Does that make sense? And so the days where you feel like quitting, it helps to propel you forward. Make sense? Whatever you write in this last box, you guys, will go to your dashboard. Some of you fill out all these and then skip the last one. And you're like, there's nothing on my dashboard. The last box is the one that matters. These are just to help you think. When you hit continue, that will be on your dashboard. Okay? So important. Because I want you guys to be have your armor on so you're ready. Here's one more thing I just want to throw out there. because Sometimes it comes out, sometimes it doesn't. But if you ever hear yourself saying, I'm just going to put my, my business on the back burner for now. Or someone on your team saying it. That's a cry for help for somebody who's about to quit. Okay, so if it's you, if it's coming out of your mouth, call BS on yourself and get recommitted, okay? Just saying. I can say that, right? Can I say that, Julie? It's okay to say? Okay. All right, next step is getting your contacts in a team. This is really easy. You're gonna get your contacts from the coach office. 
personally sponsored coaches and your customer list, okay? And you're just gonna bring them into Teams so they're organized in one place and you can connect with them. Then you're gonna get your Facebook friends imported. And there, these videos show you how to do it, right? You get your Facebook friends imported, which is awesome, so that you're not going through Facebook Messenger trying to remember who you should connect with next. It's all organized for you. And then anywhere else that you have contacts, if you're using another CRM or any other contact managers, you can bring them in as a CSV file. And there's, those are all instructions on how to do it. All right. So once you get those in, and they're really easy. I mean, literally, it brings in, you can bring in 10,000 people in like 20 seconds with that import wizard. It's amazing. Now what we're gonna do is one more step of setup before we attack our power hour. And I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna to go to my team page. See on the little left nav? There's my team page. This is where your full list lives. And you're gonna rank everybody. I'm gonna show you that real quick. I just wanna show you guys one thing which is neat for those of you guys who've been using Teamsy for a while. This used to go 25 people and then reload. They've now, our guys have come up with a new technology that allows you to like scroll thousands of people in, oh, hold on, I hit the wrong button. In like seconds, it scrolls so fast. I'm scrolling it too fast for myself. It's so cool. You can just like jam through it on mobile too. Just letting you see that. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna actually do rank mode. So see this little toggle right here? It'll automatically toggle for you after you do an import. I'm just showing you how to do it. This is an important principle. The principle is this. You should spend the most time with the best people. It's pretty reasonable, right? You should spend the most time with the best people. Some of you guys are new, so you don't have a huge list. I can imagine Julie as the leader of this team that her list is massive, right? So how do you prioritize that? And even if you're brand new, I want you to start thinking like you have a massive list because you gotta be thinking like the successful business owner that you wanna be. You need to spend the most time with the best people. Here's, the, here's where that goes. If you prioritize your relationships, then you'll be able to prioritize your time, okay? The squeaky wheel gets the oil. No, not really. The best people get the oil. And then I will get to the squeaky people and help them once I've helped my best people first. This is, this is how you work your relationships. Now, how we do it is we go through our list and we give them a rating. Five stars is awesome. And then, I, then down to one star is not so awesome, right? You guys know how to do this. You do it on everything. And then what happens is you go through and do your list. Now, Teamsy creates your contact list every day for you based on that priority that you set. Okay? And the people, the higher ratings, you're going to talk to more often. The lower ratings, you're going to talk to less often. Everybody cycles through. Now, if you have a huge list and you're overwhelmed at the thought of having to rank 5,000 people, just understand this. They're all going to come in as a three. And really what you wanna do that first time through is figure out who should be fours and fives. You're just gonna cherry pick the best people. So you're just gonna go through your list and cherry pick those people. So don't get overwhelmed by that. And let me just explain in detail what the rankings mean, okay? Here's the system. A five-star person is somebody most likely to become a customer or coach, okay? Or they're an existing customer or coach that's a rock star. You're gonna get a reminder to connect with them every 30 days. And when I say connect, I don't mean a recruiting message or anything like that. I just mean you're gonna connect. You're gonna reach out to make their day, okay? A four-star person is someone likely to become a customer or a coach with a little bit of nurturing, right? Or they're just a solid performer on your team. You're gonna get, get a message to connect with them. They're gonna be on your dashboard every 60 days, okay? Three stars is everybody at the beginning because you don't know. They could go any way, either way right? And they're going to come up on your list every 90 days. Every 90 days, you're just going to connect with them, okay? And when there's interest, you go deeper. When there's not, you just continue to connect and build your relationship. Two stars are getting colder. They're every 120 days. And then one stars, these are people who, um, they're on your list, but you're not really reaching out to them, okay? Like your do not contacts from Beachbody will drop in as a one star. All right. Though you still may want to reach out to them every once in a while on Facebook or somewhere you're allowed to do it because sometimes they accidentally do that. I don't know. Have you guys ever had like your sister join and like put do not contact on her record? And you're like, that's me you're talking to. Oh, I just didn't want Beachbody to email me. Okay, well, can you change that? Because now I can't email you, right? All right. So once you've done that, now you're ready to rock. So I'm gonna go to the dashboard. I'll give you a quick tour of the dashboard and then we're gonna attack our power. How am I doing on time? Okay, I, I tend to be a little wordy. Hope you guys are still having fun. So here's my why right here. It's right here. If you ever wanna change that, you just click on my why. It'll take you back to the change that okay um, and then up here if you want to look somebody up you look them up right here if you want to add a new contact you click add super easy is that me making all that weird noise let me just put some mojo on my microphone okay 
hopefully that does it. All right. So um, there's, I also want to let you guys know, I'll show you when we do Q and A, there's a mobile website too. You can do all this on your phone once you've set it up, which is awesome. Especially the ad contact. I love that. You meet somebody talking to somebody, Adam, my favorite, one of my favorite um, stories ever. I was a brand new coach. Uh, I think I was a coach three weeks and I went to um, summit in Las Vegas. I was brand new, jumped in the car, went, somebody had a ticket for me. I went, it was crazy. And when we were coming back, we stopped at the outlet center somewhere in the desert and there was an Under Armour outlet and we're buying like workout gear. And we had our never give up t-shirts on my wife and I, and someone was like, what is that? And we started talking and it was like, um, he was interested. And I remember thinking I needed, I needed like something on my phone to just put him in right now and set the follow up with. I didn't have it then, but you guys do. It's teamsy. Okay. How cool is that? All right. Sorry. A little side note. So here's, here's what we're going to do. Here's our goals. Our goals as we set them were to connect with 12 prospects, six customers, four coaches. Okay. Get our invites and our ads done. That's kind of our goal sheet there. And you can also see as I hover over each one on the left where the my why was, it explains what these are in case later you're like, what was that? Okay, there's a little explanation. Do you guys see that over there? Okay. Also dailies, these are your product of the product stuff. Are you doing the things you're supposed to be doing? Right? Did you remember to do this stuff? Have you done your workout? Which is great because when you guys slide and don't do a workout for three days and you have to see that button go unclicked, it's going to make you mad hopefully and keep you going. Now, this box right here, who's up next? This is the magic. And I want you guys to know there is no CRM on the planet who has figured out how to do this like this. And um, I know because we built CRMs for real estate and it was always not quite right. We couldn't quite figure out how to make it happen smoothly and easily. I think we've got it on this. Let me show you. So here's what we're going to do. First, these are each, each one of these tabs is a new list. There's my prospects list, my customers list, my coach list. These are the next five people I'm to contact. And then I've got my follow-ups, which I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going to start with my prospects. First person on my list is Jay. Jay's on the call, so she gets to be my guinea pig. But let's just say, you know, I put her there just to be safe. So we're going to go to Jay. Now, I like to use Facebook. So whatever you use, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, um, Snapchat, however you communicate with people, you know, um, that's how you're going to communicate with them still. Teams is just going to tell you who to connect with next. So I like to use Facebook. So I'm going to go to Facebook. I've got it open in a separate tab right here. And I'm just going to look her up. Hold on, I've got my fingers on the wrong keys. Here she is. I'm gonna look her up on Facebook and I'm gonna go to send her a message. Oh, but you know what? I'm not really sure what I should say to her. Do you guys ever get that way? Like, what are you gonna say? And I know some of you get stumped here and you're like, I just did a power hour and talked to three people because it took me so long to figure out what to say. Well, what we've done is we've got this little button right here. See this thing right here that says scripts? We've got some ideas just to get you started. Remember, you don't need to overthink this. You're just trying to start a conversation. You just want to make them smile and make their day. You're going to, once the conversation started, you can take it from there, right? So this is, I'm going to do a Facebook message. So I'm going to select that first one. And I'm just going to take like this first connect right here. Connect one. Hi, Jane, just stopping by to say hello. How are you? I hope your day is awesome. Pretty simple, right? Now, you can also create your own scripts and save them in here so you can grab them as you, as you want. But again, guys, don't overthink it. It is better to err on the side of action. Okay, so I copied that. I clicked that copied script. Now what I'll do is I'll jump over to Jay's Facebook, right? And I'm going to hit, hold on, let me get rid of this. I'm going to hit message. Wait, where am I? Message. Welcome to Facebook, Eric. And I'm going to send her that message. You can see that we use each other as a guinea pig all day long. I'm going to change the name, right? Her name's not Jane. Okay. Return. So look, I'm just going to send that message to her, right? Just a simple, sweet message. Now I'm going to copy it really quick. I copy so much faster on my phone than on my computer, just so you guys know when you start using the mobile app. Toggle back to Teamsy. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste that there. You don't have to copy and paste if you don't want to. You can just type that you sent her a message if you want. My point is, is that I'm doing this so that I don't, my tracking's done now too. Not only have I messaged her, but my tracking is done. So watch this. When I hit this log connect, watch what happens to her on my list. She's gone and my list moves up. Next person on my list is Kelly. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go send Kelly a message. Now I want you guys to know, I will probably use that same script message 12 straight times. 
I don't even think, now there's a couple of different ones. Like maybe if I get in there, I'm like, oh, I messaged her three months ago. I'll send the other one that says, hey, it's been a while since we checked in. How's your day? I hope it's going awesome, right? Just simple, simple check-ins with people. And I don't spend a lot of time on it. I'm just trying to get all of those, I call them my little love notes, right? Just get them out there. And you get amazing response from people. They're like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for checking in. How are you? Like you get great responses from people. People will start responding even before you're done, but just ignore those right now. You gotta finish your power hour, stay focused. So we're gonna do that 12 times on our prospects list until this circle is completely blue and that says 12 in the middle, okay? Be disciplined. And then we're gonna go over to our customers, okay? And we're gonna connect with customers. This is so huge, you guys. And I talk to coaches all the time. They're like, oh, Eric, I don't even know where to start. I've got like thousands of people on my customer list. I haven't stayed in touch with them. It's like, you need to start being in touch with them. Guys, I know you think prospects is where it's at and it is, but customers are so important. Your gold mine, customers are a gold mine for you. Customers are a gold mine for you. But there are a couple of reasons why you need to be in touch with your customers. The first is you're, you're their coach and only like 1% of the world can actually do a challenge group once and change their life. Like they need your consistent help. I always just assume somebody needs to do three, four, five challenge groups a year to really be doing it, right? Which is great because then they can continue to connect with you. They can continue to stay on their Shakeology. You don't get that email from Beachbody saying, your average customer stayed on Shakeology four months and go, yay, that's great, right? You see a much bigger number there as you continue to help them be more consistent. Um, the other thing is, is the most, most important thing I want you guys to understand is that, and make sure, I'm, really, I want you to have your pens ready. This is an important one. You got to get this one down. The absolute best, hottest source for a new lead is your current customer. The absolute best, hottest source for a new lead is your current customer. There is no, I mean, there's some amazing trainings out there on social media and things like that, but nothing is better than a current customer. Somebody who's using the products now and getting great results, that is your best prospect to bring new people to your business and your best prospect to join your team. You got to be in touch with them. Um, I could go off on a tangent on this, you guys. I've done a full hour-long training on how to duplicate your current customers. It's in Teams in the University. Go check it out. I'll show you where it is. I'll just toggle over there real quick. I clicked on University, Beachbody. It's right here. It's called Hit SC Every Month, How to Multiply Current Customers with Teamsy. Check that out when you have a chance, you guys. Um, I, I give you all my dialogues on how to connect with people, how to get them to introduce you to the people they're already talking to. Just like me, when I started getting results and everyone was talking to me about what I was doing, so are your customers talking to everybody they know constantly. I mean, think about it. Think about it. Somebody is like at the office kitchen and some vendor brought in a big box of Krispy Kreme donuts and everybody's killing them. And your customer walks in, she walks in, like goes to the blender, starts making her Shakeology. People are like, what is that? She's got at lunch, she's got her little containers full of food. Everybody's asking about it. It's already happening. So it just helps you leverage that. Okay, so you're going to connect with your customers. And there's scripts in there for customers. And then finally, you're going to talk to coaches on your team. You guys, this is so important. That's why we called it Teamsy. It's about your team. It's all about your team. The community you build, the connections that you foster. And this is huge. You know, um, last spring I was, on the, I was on the cruise, the Success Club cruise. Probably a lot of you guys were too. And, and, and at that time, Teamsy was new and people were coming up to me and talking to me about it. And we were just having some great conversations. And I talked to one coach who was, who was um, in her own right, a very successful coach. She was seven star qualifying that month. And her coach was a superstar um, coach. And I said, how often do you guys talk? And she says, well, I mean, we haven't talked since I signed up. But, you know, I'm, I have access to her through her assistant if I need to. I said, okay, great. I understand that. I understand that they've got thousands and thousands of people on their team. But what how meaningful would it be to you if like once or twice a year you got a text message from her saying, hey girl, just checking in. How are you? I hope you're having an awesome day. Is there anything you need from me or anything I can do to make your day? And we were just having a casual conversation. You guys, I'm talking to this woman and like her tears started coming out. Like I hit some sort of an emotional cord. The thing is, is that people do, your coaches want a relationship with you. And I know you don't have tons of time, but just a little bit. Teams, you will help you. Just get those little personal contacts out there. It makes all the difference. Okay, so now we've got our power hour done. Prospects, customers, coaches, all these circles are solid. Now we're gonna go to the fourth tab, which is our follow-ups list. So how do people get to the follow-ups list? Let me show you how this works. All right, I gotta switch from coffee to water. Gotta stay hydrated. All right, so let's talk about this. 
So we sent a message to Jay. Jay's going to be excited because she's Jay. She's always excited. But let's just say, <laughs> there she is. See? Just look at her face. By the way, just a little side note. Jay helped me build a CRM system for real estate in the past. And then when Teamsy started picking up, we poached her to come work with us on this one because we already knew how awesome she was. All right, so um, which caused all kinds of drama, but that's okay. Sometimes you got to do that, right? All right, so where was I? So I'm talking to Jay. She says, hey, thanks for checking in, Eric. How have you been, right? She remembers me fondly as her favorite boss ever at her old job. And uh, we're connecting back and forth and talking, getting caught up. She's telling me what's going on in her life. She's connecting with me because we just had a new baby. So everyone's excited about that, whatever. We're having a conversation. Forming each other, right? And somewhere in the conversation, she says, which actually did come up, Jay, every time we talked before you came to work for us, which was like, I need to do something. I need to get, I need to get my fitness back, right? What do you think I should do? We're having a great conversation about that. So that happens and I say, okay, Jay, let's get on the phone. Let me get your, let me get your goals and let's figure out what would be a good match for you. So we get on the phone, we start talking, I ask questions. Just so you guys know, I'm not some amazing brain surgeon. I, I watch the Tommy Migrant videos in the back office and those are the questions I ask. They work, right? Just do what's there for you. They work great. So I'll ask her those questions, I'll get her goals. And then we're talking and I'll say, you know, Jay, I think maybe 21 day fix would be a great way for you to start. Let's take a look at that. I'll tell her a couple stories about my wife and the results she got, or maybe about myself. Usually they don't wanna hear about me, they wanna hear about my wife, but that's cool. And, and she's gonna be excited, right? She's excited. So here's what happens. That first connect, which was just, hey, how you doing? Now we've had a conversation, and now I'm ready to actually invite her. So how do I do it in Teamsy? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look her up, and that's gonna take me to her record, okay? So now I'm talking to her and I'm saying to her on the phone, okay, Jay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you an email right now. And that email is going to have all the information on the group. It's going to have your links to buy your challenge pack so that you can join the group. And um, I'll connect with you tomorrow and see if you have any questions. Fair enough? So now I'm going to log this, right? I'm going to log this connect as an invite. And by the way, I can actually, I don't, I don't remember if I have it in there. I can actually save that email that I'm going to send her as a template and I can just send it from here, send it and log it in one step, which is pretty cool. I'm just going to log it though. So you have an idea. So now notice now I'm going to click this little invite box. You may not have even noticed it there before, but when the connect is an invite, I'm going to click that. So now it tracks it as a special connect. This is an invite connect and I'm going to select my type. This is a challenge group invite. Okay. With me. Now, before I hit log connect, remember, she's not gonna be on my list for 30 days. When did I say to follow up with her? Tomorrow. So I gotta set my follow up, set the follow up for tomorrow. Okay, so now I'm logged. And you can see the follow up is set. So now I can forget it. She's not gonna fall through the, the cracks. She's on my follow ups list. Tomorrow when I do my dashboard, prospects, customers, coaches, and I get to my follow ups list, there she is. Does that make sense? Now I don't even have to think about her. She's on my follow-ups list. Now here's what I want you guys to know. Once you're on my follow-up list, there's no escape. You're interested. Guess what? Now it's my job to help you through it. Make sense? There's no escape. You're on my follow-ups list. I'm going to follow up with you like a pro. Now let me explain to you guys because some of you guys struggle with this and I was the same way. Did you know that 80% of all sales happen between the 7th and the 10th follow-up? Some of you guys are nodding, and I bet if I checked, you guys probably have the largest businesses. Here's the thing, though. How many of you guys, honestly, and it's okay, don't worry, I have the same result on every call. How many of you follow up 10 times every time you invite? Hardly anybody, right? Now, there's a couple reasons for it. One is sometimes you just don't have a good enough system to stay on top of them that long, right? There's a lot of, you got so many moving parts. I think that happens a lot. For others of you, you may not have a lot going on, so that's not your problem. The problem is, is that you feel like you're a pest, right? You feel like you're nagging people. Here's what I want you guys to know. And look, if you have another business like this that I'm gonna make a joke about, don't be offended, but we're not selling leggings. This is a transformational product. You guys are saving people's lives. You're changing their self-image. You're changing everything. This is huge. But understand this. 
well, wait, wait, before you understand this, I just want you guys to understand this. Somebody's coming to you for help, for transformation. Following up with them is not pestering them. Following up with them is an act of love. It's an act of love. We all resist change. In a little bit about my, in my, of my tirade about personal development, I told you guys that your, your life is the sum total of your subconscious mind right now. And the people you're talking to, their life, which they want to change, is exactly where they're programmed to stay. So guess what's going to happen? They're super excited. Jay's excited. I'm going to do 21 Day Fix. And then we hang up the phone. And then she gets my email. And she's like, oh, man, that seems like a lot of work. Do you know how much I like donuts? You know, and I don't even know if I have time because my day is so hectic already. I mean, I don't even know if I could fit in 30 minutes and the excuses start to happen and people start to back away from it because it's scary at a subconscious level. So guys, this is where your coaching begins. It doesn't begin when they join the challenge group. It begins when they've asked for the invite. You have to coach them through it and you have to know that if they don't respond to the first six follow-ups, that is actually normal. That is normal. Now, you can be annoying when you follow up. So I'm going to give you a couple of principles to follow up without being a pest. First of all, keep your follow-up short and sweet. Short enough that they can read them on their phone without opening the message. Because some of them don't want you to know they saw it. Because they feel like they're obligated to respond. I'm just letting you know how people are wired. Never ask for something and never ask them to do anything in the follow-up. Okay. What you want in the follow-up is for them to think about you constantly and associate it with, this is the person trying to help me. This is the person who cares about me. This is the person who's going to help me get to the next level. Now, let me show you how to do it in Teams, you guys. It's so easy. So every day you're doing your prospects, your customers, your coaches, you get to your follow-ups list. So now we're going to follow up with Jay. I'm going to click on Jay. Pretend I already did those other two. All right. So now I'm going to follow up with her. Just so you guys know, I used to do this presentation and I would give people my dialogues and they'd be like, oh my gosh, we need those follow-up dialogues. I have 10 follow-up dialogues in Teamsy for you to use, all 10. You can modify them for yourself. You can put them in your own voice. You can add, hey girl, to all of them if you want. <laughs> I can never say that, okay? <laughs> but they're there for you. So let me show you. So I'm gonna go to follow-up number one. There it is. Hi, Jane, just checking in like I promised I would. What questions do you have for me? By the way, this is my favorite follow-up of all time because it's so short and it's so meaningful. It's just checking in like I promised I would. It's showing her that this is more than like a sale for me. This is a promise I'm keeping for her. And then I'm asking her, what questions do you have? It's about her. It's not about me. It's not about me needing a $40 commission. It's about me helping her. So look, I'm going to copy that the same way, you guys. And then I'll go to Teamsy and I'll send it to her. I mean, I'm sorry, to Facebook. And I'll send her that message right? I'll change it to Jay. Jay, you don't mind that I'm not going to take that minute to change it, right? Okay. I'll copy it and I'll go back over to Teamsy and, I'll, and I'm going to log it, okay? So now check this out. Facebook message, same way. Log that. Now set the next follow-up. If I leave it at default, she falls back into my Teamsy churn. It's going to be 30 days. I need to follow up again tomorrow. Set another one. Always set the next follow-up. You with me? Log it. Now she's on my list again for tomorrow. Tomorrow I come in, I do my power hour, prospects, customers, coaches. These are all new people every day, which is so great. Now I'm on my follow-ups list and I'm just banging through my follow-ups list. I get to Jay. Oh yeah, what am I following up on? <laughs> Anyone like that? That's the way I am. Go to activity. See this little activity tab? And I can see my last messages there. Oh yeah, I invited her to 21 Day Fix. I checked in once. Let me go back and now let's go ahead and get the script for the second follow-up. Fault number two, look at this, three, four, five, six, seven. They're all here, you guys. Two is, um, hey Jay, just make sure you got my email, check and see if you have any questions. Three is, I'm excited about the goals we discussed, can't wait to get started. Four is, just staying in touch so I can help you achieve your goals. Five is, I hope you're doing well, I'm here when you're ready. Six is, I know you're excited about getting started, I wanna make sure you get your program in time for a challenge group, do you have any questions for me? Seven is, just stopping by to wish you a fantastic day. I just want her, to think about me every day and reconnect to the hope of that first call we had, right? Because really what you guys sell is hope with a plan, right? Hope with a plan. The plan is not as exciting to them as the hope. <laughs> we need to connect them to the hope. I have a question about that. Can we also log their responses in there? Yeah, totally. Okay, 
Awesome. I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. Oh, let me just show you real quick. If you want to go back and log the whole conversation. Okay, some of you like to log the whole conversation. Some of you think that you'd be spending all day logging everything and don't want to do that. So I'm going to give you guys the option to do either. Personally, I don't log the whole conversation. I just want to know when my next time to connect with them is. But if you wanted to go back and log it, you just look her up, right? You just look her up, and then you go to activity feed right here on her file, right? And you find the last message. Click edit, and you can paste the whole conversation in that same box, okay? So you can have the whole conversation there if you want, and it won't count as another, uh, as another connect. Make sense? Yes, thank you. I just didn't, I don't want to log the whole conversations, but if they share a certain goal with me, I want that to be in the activity so that I know how to approach them when I go back to it. Absolutely. That's a great idea. And then also another thing that you can do is you've got this note section, which is a great place to put their basic goals. You know, as you're talking to them that first time and they're giving you their goals, put those yep. there, right? Cool. Thank you. Sure. And I always ask them questions like, and I'm sure you guys do this too. This is just tactical stuff, but you know, um, if I see you ghosting or, or disappearing, how do you want me to approach that? If you, you know, and so then I get their permission to kick them in the butt at the, on the first call. Well, I want you to come at me hard, you know, it's like, boom, hey, you know, um, you told me that if you started disappearing, which I'm seeing you do right now to come after you, here I am, just loving you through the process. Let's get you back in today and get your workout done, right? Okay, so, or get your, whatever, whatever stage of the game we're in. All right, so once you guys go through all of those connects, now here's what I want you guys to know, and I mentioned this a minute ago, is that typically most people won't even respond to you the first five or six times. Now, some people go, do I need to connect to them every single day? That's kind of a lot. You don't have to do it every single day. I do think the first few days, though, you should go every day. And you'll notice when you set follow-ups, you can break them out two days, four days, a week. Use your discernment, right? Use your discernment, but draw the line when you know that you're avoiding it. <laughs> Make sense? All right. So as we're talking to Jay, we get to a point down the road where I go into coach office and I'm like, oh my gosh, she signed up. She got her challenge back. Way to go. Right. And what typically will happen. Oh, I mentioned, wanted to mention this was like on the sixth or seventh follow-up is when you'll get the message that's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I haven't been responding to you. You're so amazing. Thank you for staying in touch with me. I think you're amazing. Right. And remember how I talked to you in the beginning about how consistency is so attractive to people. They see you consistently reaching out and caring. It means a lot. Okay, so now Jay did it. She signed up. Now let me show you how to finish her off in Teamsy. I'm gonna look her up again. There she is. We're gonna go to her record. And now I'm just gonna log the sale. This is just so I can track my stats that she bought a challenge pack. Great, I'm gonna save it. Now that's logged. Now I'm gonna move her. She's a prospect. Now I'm gonna move her over. Oh, she joined as a coach actually. So I'm gonna move her to coach. Just by touching that, it moves her over to the new category, and then I can put that she's personally sponsored. Okay, so now she's in the right category for Teamsy, and she's done. And so now when I go to my dashboard, she moved all the way through prospects to my follow-ups list, and now she's on my coaches list. Make sense? And that can move either way. You can move people back and forth if they quit. You can move them back to customer, right? A former coach is still a current customer, right? Yeah. Are those actions customizable? Like you said, she bought a challenge pack. Can we customize those? So you've got, um, you've got a couple of choices here on sale. Challenge pack, shake home direct or other. Oh, or other. Okay. Yeah. Because this isn't tracking volume or commission. It's just tracking the conversion of your connects. So over right. time, you guys are going to track, you're going to want to see like, okay, if I'm connecting with this people a day, how many of those are leaving the sales and how many of those are leaving the coaches? And over time, you can take your ratios. This is like a deeper training that we're going to have to provide you guys as we go. Sure. But over time, we can fine tune your ratios and go, hey, you know what I'm noticing is your connect to sale ratio is really high, which means we probably need to work on um, your approach, maybe your tone, maybe your scripts, maybe, you know. Um, or we'll see like you're getting a lot of sales, but not a lot of coaches. Maybe that's something that we can work on. So you see that stuff and you can work on it. You can go to your upline and go, how do I, you know, I'm, I'm getting a lot of customers, but how do I recruit more coaches and learn from your upline? Like what are the techniques and the dialogues and the way to talk to people to do that? And so Teamsy will track your stats so you can see like where you can improve. As you move those, those ratios lower, then you're able to convert a lot more business with less daily activity, if that makes sense, which is how some of the top coaches 
can work, they're not working necessarily as hard as they were in the beginning because they've gotten much better at it. Does that make sense? So, okay, before I jump into Q&A, which I'm gonna do right now, I wanna give you guys action steps. So important. Coaching me wants to do that. All right, here we go. First, you need to go get your free trial. Go to teensy.com and get your free trial. If you're not on the free trial, get your free trial. Get your coaches on a free trial. It's free. <laughs> it's free. All right, now get a 30-day success partner to do the trial with you. Some of you already have a success partner. If you have a success partner, just use that person. If you do not have a success partner, get a 30-day success partner to do the trial with you. Anyone who has a success partner probably had other ones first, and it's easier if you just set it for 30 days, find out if you're a good match, right? <laughs> but here's what I want you to do with that success partner. Every day when you complete your Teensy dashboard, you get that 100% complete, you crushed it message. Those of you guys who've got that know how exciting it is. I want you to screenshot that and message that to your partner. It's gonna keep you guys accountable to each other for 30 days to create serious momentum in your business. Okay, now you can also do it with your team, your team cup team, whatever, but definitely have at least one person you're accountable to. Now, third action step, because sometimes we need to have you do the three day refresh before you can do the ultimate reset, <laughs> right? I'm gonna give you a five day challenge, a five day challenge. And what I want you to do is in five consecutive days, that's in a row, by the way, five consecutive days, I want you to connect with 100 people. 100 people, and that could be a combination of prospects, customers, and coaches. 100 people, five days, that breaks down to 20 people a day. But I want you to do it five days in a row and hold each other accountable to doing it because you will generate momentum. You'll be able to understand what that feels like. Does that make sense? So um, that's the challenge. You guys got those down? I'm gonna take away the screen. 30-day free trial, get a 30-day success partner, and then do the five-day challenge. How many of you guys accept the five-day challenge? If you're already using Teamsy, this will be fun too. By the way, honestly, that 20 people, it's like 30 minutes of work. Now, here's one more thing I wanna show you guys before we get deep into this. Oh wait, I gotta open Chrome to do this. Hold on a second. Okay, hold on, I'm just gonna show you guys real quick this, um, the, what the mobile site looks like. So I know a lot of you guys are super busy. You've got full-time jobs. You've got kids to take care of, husbands to take care of, right? Whatever the case may be, you're busy. And so even a 30 minute or, or power hour, power half hour is like, you know, how do I do that? I want you guys to know with the mobile, with the mobile website, not an app, it's a website. It's the same site. You just go to it on Safari or Chrome. You're able to use Teamsy while you're on the go. And it looks like this, right? I, this, is, this is basically what it looks like. You'd be cut off about right here and you'd have to scroll, okay? But we can do it all in gap time. So if you could get like 15 minutes here and 15 minutes there, you're gonna get your list done for the day, right? If you um, need to get an oil change and you're waiting, I actually had my most epic Teamsy time ever while getting my tires replaced in my wife's car, discount tire. Um, picking your kids up from school and you're sitting in that parking lot of uh, cars in line for 15 minutes, get out your phone, connect with a couple people, okay? So you can use gap time. The ideal situation is to have a specific appointment with yourself to do a power hour. That's the ideal situation, just like your workouts. So if there's intentionality behind it, but I want you to know you can fit it in where you can fit it in and get it done. Does that make sense? Okay. So what questions do you guys have? Oh, and I want to introduce Jay. Maybe I'll let her take over the Q and A. We'll do, we can tag team them together. But Jay, for those of you guys who weren't here at the beginning, she's the director of customer experience at Teamsy and, um, we're just so excited to have her. And she's gonna, she's gonna give you guys, you wanna give them your contact info too? Definitely. Hi hey everyone, glad to be here with you guys. I know Eric kind of uh, went through everything with Team Z, but I want you guys to know that you do have a point of contact if something comes up when you get off this call. You know, right now it's all fantastic and, and right in front of you, but when, you, when you're left to your own devices, if you have questions, if you have a challenge of any kind, know that you can reach out to me. So um, Eric, do you want me to go ahead and share my contact info now while you're yeah, chatting? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and do that so they can get it down. Okay. I mean, you guys can hit the, the help button on Teamsy anytime and send a ticket. Our team will help you with technical issues. But if you want anything deeper, you can call Jay. Also, if you guys want to schedule a team call with your teams, I know, I know you, some of you guys have your own teams, um, connect, reach out to Jay and we can do that for you too with your team. 
okay? Because the, the biggest thing we want, we want to help as many people, we want to help you guys help as many people as we can, and we do that by helping as many as you as, you, as we can. Make sense? Okay. Now, do you guys have any specific questions based on what we showed you so far? I know we've been on the line with you a long time. Hey, Eric. Yeah. I feel like um, some folks may need some time to process. Yeah, <laughs> so I don't know. I think we've got some teams of users and some new people. And, and as I was watching, I've used it uh, some, not as much as what some of my other coaches have. And I have a feeling that even as I was watching it, I, when you were doing some stuff, I'm like, what the what is that? That was awesome. So I, I have a feeling, and, and you guys can chat and tell me if I'm wrong, but that there are some um, people that have been using it and still learn some stuff, and then some brand new people that are like, oh my gosh, I got to process this. Um, so I, what I'm wondering is if maybe in 30 days we could do a follow-up so the folks that do the 30 day free trial, the folks that dig in, you know, whatever that are using it can then come back and have, and just do a full on straight up Q and A. Absolutely. We can do that. Okay. Sure. I think that would be super helpful uh, because all of this was amazing. Uh, and I have a feeling they needed to, to dig in a little bit. There's, there are some questions um, for folks, some directly to email, some plans to add a workflow flow function. Um, my personal question would be um, group messaging. You know, I could send a BCC group message. Sometimes that's kind of kind of nice too if I'm sending it, you know, about to several people regarding the same challenge group or something like that. So yeah. I nice have a group function on there for for certain pieces. Um, but I'm gonna, uh, if you don't mind, I think we maybe could do a couple questions and then sort of close, wrap it up and then schedule something. We can schedule something to come back and answer just straight up questions. Sure thing. Sounds good. Okay. So do you want to tackle a couple of those that are in the chat? Yeah, I'm looking at these right now. So um, I see Kristen's question, which is um, follow up 10 days in a row. Say we get crickets. Do we just go back in the prospect cycle? And I would say, yes, just let them go back in the prospect cycle and then they'll show up again and you'll connect with them down the road. Um, Honestly, would I do 10 days in a row? Probably not. I'd probably do four or five days in a row and then start backing those off a few days between. But, but the point is, after the 10 follow-ups, yeah, just let them go back. Just release them back into your Teamsy. The cool thing is you'll still be present when they're ready down the road, if that makes sense. Um, Jay, do you want to show them how to send an email? Sorry about that. Okay, so what you're looking at here is my Teamsy screen. So if you are a Gmail subscriber, you can actually link your Gmail account to your Teamsy. Currently, it's going to be exclusive for Gmail users. We are looking um, at opportunities to include more email services in the future. So for now, your best way to in initially make that link is to go to the upper right-hand corner. You've got a little settings wheel. You can go down to settings. From here on the left-hand side, you've got an integrations option. And you're going to have a little connect option if you have not linked your Gmail. If you come in here and it says Gmail is successfully connected, you're good to go. You can start sending emails. Otherwise, just click the connect option. It's just going to make sure that you're logged into that Gmail account. You're going to hit connect and it's going to follow you through the process. Super quick and easy. Now, when you're ready to send emails, Eric has been showing you guys how quickly and easily you can do that from your dashboard, which is awesome. Now, if I was on my dashboard and I see that I was connecting with Ivy today, I could actually click select type. Now from this drop down, I can click send email. Now because it's already linked to my Gmail account, it's going to pull in her email address. It's gonna give me a blank email composition option. I can create an email from scratch or I can access those awesome scripts that Eric was, off, um, was mentioning. So for example, if I click browse scripts here, I can go to email. Um, I can click on an email itself. It's gonna drop the email into the body and then I can go ahead and address the correct person and hit send. It's just gonna make connecting and starting those conversations super quick and easy. And um, just so you guys know, it doesn't send it as Teamsy. It uses Gmail and sends it from your Gmail. So your responses will go back to your Gmail account, um, which is cool because we didn't want to get you guys caught up in weird spam filters because it was like being sent on behalf of Teamsy. Um, but because That's of, what I use. I always use that. So it goes through my Gmail. Yeah. 
emails and then it comes back through um because then if it also if it's um an invalid email address or whatever it shows up that sort of filters that through gmail then automatically my question with that is does my signature that i have embedded in my gmail does that show up automatically or do i still need, most of the time i just put you know like jb i just put my initials or something at the end of it but is my signature that i have set up through gmail showing up on that or do no. i need to Different. You need to set it up here. Jay's got it on the okay. screen. You need to set it up here in email settings. Okay. Okay. And Jay, I think that that is, uh, I think that the guys sent a fix out this weekend that corrected that so it's working properly, right? Exactly. Yeah. So anything that's in this field will actually be dropped right in the bottom of your email body. So just basically picture it with a space and then whatever's in this field. Or you can always copy and paste your email signature if you have a preference right into the body. I do that just so that I can have my little image or my headshot or anything like that. Yeah, which is great. So if you want to, if you want to leave the email signature blank on settings, you can put it in your templated script emails that you save in Teamsy. And Absolutely. Have it all complete. So you can set up Teamsy that way. Um, for example, I know before Teamsy, I used to use Google, uh, what are they called? Um, canned responses, right? So, so if you have like an email for each thing, you could set it up like Jay has with your signature in the email saved, and then you just grab that script and you send it. So there's two ways to approach it. Because I know a lot of you guys will probably be sending an email you've saved mm -hmm. over and over and over, right? Yeah. It just makes yeah. it more efficient. And yeah. So. And chances are it's a lot of the same, it's a lot of the same question. You know, you're reaching back to your customer, you're checking in with them, that customer or someone, you know, with a situation similar to another customer, you're just checking in with them. So why are you crafting a completely brand new email for the same type of situation over and over? Why not just craft a, a pretty, you know, a good articulate email use one of the scripts that's in there, tailor it to you, and then just use that over and over. Why are we recreating the wheel? That's the point of this is to not recreate the wheel over and over to make us efficient and not just busy. Absolutely, exactly. absolutely. And you can also save, when you're writing an email, you can click save a script as you're writing, as you're composing it. So as you're creating, yes, yeah, you know, so the first time you're answering the question, you can be like, save a script for later, and then mm -hmm. you can just come back to it later and, and modify it for somebody else. Because that script then could be specific to programs. So if you're doing a core to force challenge group, here's my follow up or here's my, someone reaches to me and says, what's this all about? I've now created a script, you know, to follow up with them on core to force. And then maybe I have a script for Insanity Max 30 and a script for 21 day fix or whatever. And now you can say, it's brilliant. The whole thing is brilliant. And what's cool about that too is once you've got those saved, you can do it on your phone. So somebody messages you and says, okay, I want more information and bam. Mm -hmm. You're like, wow, that was amazing. And if you're like me, you don't like to write long messages to your phone, it's right. there. You know? It's right there. It's so great. Well, this was so far and away more than what I expected. And it's I love that when things exceed my expectations. And I know that the team is greatly benefiting from this information. Not just the information on Teamsy, but the training piece that you provided before, because what that's that is all context leading into what we do and how we do it. So I appreciate that very much. Love that we recorded it because I know, I, I know noon sometimes is hard, but um, I made a commitment at the beginning this year to not do nighttime stuff so that I could be more present with my family. Sure. And so I appreciate you doing this because um, if you're in California, it's 9 a.m. So we probably started your day with this. Sheila, so. can I ask one question before we jump off? Yep, sure. Um, and maybe I missed this, but say you say you need to, um, you know, touch base with a coach and you told them like, we can talk tomorrow at one. Does it give you any sort of push notification or anything like that? Or does it just show up in your list? Like, how do you know it's like 1 PM that I need to follow up with this person? Yeah. You need to put, just put that in your calendar. Okay. It doesn't give you a note. Uh, it doesn't send you a text or anything. And it's a great question. People ask that all the time, you guys. And, and I'm just going to be really honest with you. We've, because we built this for, we built something like this, not as good for real estate. And those text message reminders, people hated them. They asked for them and then they hated them. They were like, oh my gosh, it's so overwhelming. Interesting. So what we, what we, this is designed so that you just need to go to Teamsy once a day. Everything's there and it's ready to work. It's just kind of like your, your BOD, right? Like everything's mm -hmm. there. You just need to go work out. It's not like, oh my gosh, you missed three workouts. So now you got to go do three workouts. You just go turn it on and do today's work. Does that make sense? So I'm, I'm not trying to, to, 
to um, diminish your request, I'm just letting you know that people ask for that because it seems like a good idea. And then when you start getting text messages all the time, you start getting annoyed. So in that situation, I would just open up your calendar and put it in there. We didn't build a calendar into Teamsy for the same reason because we spent four months building a calendar at what we call our practice product, which was our real estate product. And everyone was like, this calendar is not as good as Google Calendar. This calendar doesn't sync right with my Apple Calendar. Mm -hmm. And so again, everyone has a calendar that they love. So we're like, we're just not gonna, we're not gonna get in that game. We'll let you use your calendar if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Great little workaround. I will mention if you do want to be able to reference that information really quickly, Joan, in Teamsy, um, what I recommend to people is that once you've set the follow-up, that you use your little notes section or the last point of communication. So if you're setting a follow-up, like let's say I'm connecting with Wendy, but I'm going to connect with her tomorrow. In this connection for today, I'll say checking in tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Now, if I track this right now is completed, let's say we had that connection by Facebook, She's added to my follow-up list, right? So if I go down to Wendy and I see her here, if I go, to, go over to activity, it'll be listed there for me right from the dashboard. So you can quickly grab it. It's a small workaround or use your calendar um, that you choose, like Eric mentioned. It yeah, just, no, that's absolutely perfect. I just like, how would I just remember, like I said, a time? But that's Yeah, perfect. so all that'll be available for you right from the dashboard. That's why, that's why Jay's here. I live, eat, and breathe this thing, guys. This is <laughs> all day long. So, I mean, if you have questions, run them by me. They're not stupid. I have heard them, I'm sure. <laughs> and what's more is I've got to work around. You know, this is, so please call, text, email. <laughs> well, this has been just amazing. I love that it was on a Monday. I love that it sets the tone for the week and, and gets us going with some organization, some productivity right, right out of the get-go. And, you know, on the national wake up call, we heard some new great announcements today too. the, you know, leading coming on team cup going into March. So this just sort of sets the tone again for, you know, we're here almost the middle of the month going into the last month of quarter one and we can get productive, not just busy. So thank you so much for your time. This has just been seriously amazing. And I hope we can schedule a follow-up in 30 days. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. You guys, you guys Perfect. are awesome. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Have a great day.